Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Ketchup. Oh, I think it's super adorable. Got the little lid, the little ketchup. Doo, 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 doo. Super cute. Uh, band wise, it's a little band heavy. There are 180 white and 334 red total. And then you have the eyes and the cheeks and the mouth also. But I think it's totally cute and of course there will be a little happy mustard to go along with it as well. So we'll get started here. We'll go over the face first. I'm going to use 9mm pony beads which are the regular size pony beads so um, I'm not going to pre-string them or pre-put the bands through. But if you're going to use bands you'll probably want to use two of the bands that you're going to use for the eyes so whatever color you want for the eyes. You'll put them on the hook, wrap them around once into a figure eight, and then grab all four bands, wrap them around again, and then pull them through, or pull two white bands through them. Like that. So then you'll have to make two of these for the eyes. The cheeks are just one band, whatever color you want the cheek to be, and do the same thing only just with one band. So be on the hook into the figure eight, then you'll grab the two bands, wrap them around again, and then pull through two bands or two white bands like so. So you want two cheeks. So you want to make those and then of course it's on one loom. We'll start with the wrong end towards us and we're going to make the cap first. And it'll be in white. So kind of in the center here. We don't expand it super far but in the center of your loom here we're going to make a starburst. Stay. So two bands and we'll go out from a center pin to the six pins around. I still have a wicked cold. Lots of congestion so hopefully I can keep my voice through this. It gets worse the longer that I talk so like that. Then two bands, we'll do a cap band on the center. We'll wrap it around three times. So one, two, and three. Then you'll take your hook and go in through your cap band and whatever two bands are on the top as you went around, you'll just pull them back towards themselves. You'll do that all the way around. that. Then we're going to do a row all the way around. Two bands. Like that. And you'll go around on every pin and flip the bottom four over the top of the pin. Like that. Now we're going to expand every pin. And we're going to do that by on each pin here. So I'm going to start up here on this right side, right top. And for me, I can just pick up the top two bands and bring them up. These bands come around and they connect to this pin. So there's no crossing in here. Otherwise, like if I did, went down here to this pin, if I picked up the top two and pulled them down, it would cross right there and we don't want that. So we always want it to look like this when we move the bands. So most of these other ones will have to move all four bands, pick them up off the pin, bring them down a pin, and then you can bring the top two back. So now there's no crossing here. So we'll go to the other side on the left top. This one will have to take all four bands and move them up. Yours may be a little different depending on where you started your row, 
but just so they don't cross when you're done. So I brought those up and I'll bring the top two back. Again, no crossing. Down here, and if you just pick up the top two bands and bring them down. Now we'll do these two center ones. I'm just gonna pick up the top two bands and they're coming from the left side. So I'm gonna bring them up to the pin above on the left side. And then the other two bands that are still on that pin, they're gonna come over to the right. So this band comes around between these pins. This one comes around to these pins. We'll do the same thing down on the bottom one, middle. They're on the left side, so they're going to come over to the left. And the other two will come over to the right. Like that. So now we're just going to do two rows all the way around with two bands. like that and then all the way around you're going to flip the bottom two bands over the top and push those down and we'll do that second row all the way around, same way, two bands. like that and then you just go and you flip the bottom four bands over the top of the pin on each pin and like I said I'm sorry if there's a lot of silence my cold is one where it's like you get the tickle in your throat and the more you talk it seems like the drier it gets and then you want to cough or get scratchy so Trying to avoid that. It's much easier in editing to put this all together then. So now we have this. I'm going to push these toward the center on the ends. Kind of unhook things. And now we're going to close this off by going and we'll start over here on this left pin. I'll go in through the top two bands. I'll grab the bottom two bands, pull them up, bring them over to the right, then I'll go in through the bands we just brought over, the next two bands, and then I'll grab the bottom two bands. So in through, grab the bottom two, pull up that those bands to the center, bring it up, and I'll do that all the way around. We're basically just closing off the edge. And this side you're kind of looming backwards. And 
Let's do it all the way back to the beginning here. So now our only open point is right here. So I'm going to start removing the other ones around. Now once I've got some removed, I'll take my hook, put it through my open point, and I'll lift it off the loom, stretch it back out, and we're going to use this side as the top of the cap, and then the underside, kind of like a little hat I guess if you flip it out, but we don't want that side, we want this side. So you stretch it out kind of flatten it out and then with our part right here that we have on our hook I'm going to pull these two bands that are on the left through the ones that are on the right and then I'm going to go in through kind of just the next little if you can see how this part right here comes down and the little V shapes. I'm going to go into the next one over. So here's that one. And let's go into like either the one in between or the one next one over underneath. Just the next one, sorry. Next half of one. Pull it through what's on my hook. Then I'll grab the other side of that half of V so it looks like that. Then I'll pull through two more white bands. And this part, if you're kind of like, I don't know where she went in, it's not that big a deal. Just like when it's on my hook right now, it feels pretty nice and secure. It's tight and that's what you want. So I'll pull through two bands like that. And I'll leave those. And these bands are a little loose from just kind of the pulling over. We'll fix those after they're attached to the ketchup bottle. So it should look like this. And we'll set that aside for a moment. So now we're going to start on the top of the bottle here. And it's basically a lot of the same stuff <laughs> at, to start first. So um, we're going to start by making that starburst again in the center somewhere. So the starburst again. Two bands. all the way around the center pin and your two bands for your cap band so three times so one two and three then you go in and grab whatever two bands are on the top pull them up through your cap band and do that all the way around again that. Then we're going to do our row around but on the bands that we put down here at the bottom we're going to add our little red part here for the ketchup. And it's just one band on the hook wrapped around one time. Grab all, both bands, wrap them around again, then take another band, double it on the end of the hook, pull it through, both ends back on. Then two white bands I'll pull through what's on my hook. And you can either put this on the loom now or you can do 
the other part, which is we need to go back to that cap band, that first four bands there from the doubling, and then pull through two more white bands. So look like look like this essentially. So then whichever way, just grab two of the white bands from one side. You put them right here. And then when you put on the other half, grab it here. The bands that are next to this pin on this side, they're going to go right on top of that pin. So put those there. And the other two bands, we're going to pull those over so they go around. So it should look like that. Then we'll just finish that row. Like that. Then you go around and flip the bottom four on all the pins. that. So we have our little red spot where the ketchup comes out of the cap. So again, we are going to expand all of these. So I'm going to start over here on this top right again. I can pick up the top two bands, bring them up. No crossing right here. I'll come down here on the bottom right here. Pick up all four, bring them down, then grab the top two bring them back up. On the other side, on the top left, I'm going to grab all four bands, pull them up a pin, then grab the top two and bring them back down. And this time, right here, because of how I put the bands on, I have to bring all four bands down and bring the top two back. Just so there's no crossing in between. And then for the center ones, we'll do the same thing as we did last time. Grab the top two bands, see which side they're coming from. So these are coming from the right, so they're going to keep going over to the right. And then the other two will go to the left. And then up here, in the middle, top two bands, or I grabbed three. Top two bands. They're on the left, so they're going to stay on the left. And these ones will go to the right. So we have this. Now we're going to do our row, but this time around we are going to attach that cap on the end. So I'm just going to start down here at the bottom still with two bands. Go up all the way up this side. And then when I get to this end one, that's where we'll put on the cap. I want to make sure that this side is up. And I'll grab my two bands that I pulled through before. And I'll stretch that across on the end. So like that. And then we'll just do the two bands down the side, down the left side. Like that. Then we'll go around and you're going to flip the bottom two on every pin. down. Now we're going to do another row all the way around, two bands.
that. Then you flip the bottom four on every pin. Toward the center. And now we're going to switch to the red. And to do that, we are going to puff all of these pins. And to do that, you're going to take two bands. You kind of can hold them. I'm going to take my hook and go through the four white bands that are on each pin. Pull up two red bands through the center of that, put both ends back on my hook, and then I'll take the white bands off the pin, and then the red bands that are on my hook, those are going to go back onto the pin. And you'll do that all the way around on every pin. So pull the red bands up through, take the white bands off the pin, and then red bands back on. I was thinking when I was making these that I remember when I was younger and I think once again in my 20s um, one of the I think it was Heinz they tried marketing purple green and blue ketchup not all together but different colors and it's kind of one of those things where you want to buy it and you want to use it because it's so funny and interesting you know different it tasted exactly the same, but it was just like, we'd buy it and then nobody would really eat it. It was just, everybody's like, but it's blue, it's not red like ketchup. That's kind of weird, I was thinking about that. I don't know if any of you remember when it, that was being marketed. Like that. So each one of them is puffed. Now we're going to do a row around, and this one is going to be an alternating doubled band row, I guess what I call it. Right across the bottom here, it's going to be two bands normally. This next spot is going to be one band, but we're going to double it. Then the next spot is two bands. Then it'll be one band doubled. And we just keep doing that all the way around. like that. So we'll go around and you flip over the bottom four bands which are the puffing bands. I flip those right over the top. that. 
Now we are going to do two rows all the way around with two bands. Just give it a little bit of height there. I figured it was about time to make the catch up because I have so many red bands that I bought from Michaels when they were only a dollar. So it's like they didn't have very many color choices at the time, of course, but they had a lot of red. So I figured I use red. I'll buy some. Yeah, a little too many. Like that. So then all the way around, you flip the bottom four, and each one will have it'll be actually that one band that's doubled and then two bands that are normal. But just flip them all over, it still looks like the bottom four. Like so. Just gonna stick the center there. I'm going to do another row all the way around with the two bands. that. Now we'll flip the bottom four again. Next two. Now we're going to increase again. So, first we're going to increase the third pin up right here. So I'm going to pull these two, the bands that are on these pins, I'm going to pull them back. So I'm going to go down here first, lift those up, pull them back one, go on the next one, pull those back one, and then right here, I think, I have to pull these back as well. So pull those back. And then I can take the top two and pull them back up to the pin they were on. So you're essentially, I guess, pulling back the first three pins, back a pin, and then you pull the top two back up. Then up here, on this last pin on the right side, I'm going to expand this one as well. Um, for me, I can just pick up the top two and bring them up. And then over here, we're going to expand the third pin again. So what I'm going to do is take the first ones up here, pull them back a pin. Take the second ones, pull them back a pin. And the third ones, let's make sure. And the third ones are going to go back up in. But it's these right here that we're going to expand. So I'll pick up the top two and bring them back down to that empty pin. So on this side, we pulled back the top three. And then we expanded this one once we moved them back. Then we'll come down to the end here, and we need to expand this corner pin. And we have to pick up all four bands again, pull them down. I'm going to grab the top two and bring them back up. 
So now we're here. So I have four, four, two, two, four, four, two, two. Other side, four, four, two, two, four, four, two, two. So now we're going to do a row all the way around with the two bands. Like that. And we'll go ahead and flip the bands. So just like before, or like I said before, four, four, two, two, four, four, two, and two. Right side, two, two. Four, four, two, two, four, and four. Push those down. So now we're right at this top row, right above where our little white label is. And so, looking at this, we have two pins we're going to keep red the next four pins we're going to turn into white and then the last two pins we're going to keep red so to turn these to white we're going to puff them out so a third pin up on the right side we're going to puff those so again it's just taking two bands pulling them up getting them on your hook I have the white bands on my hook. I'll take the red off the pin and then put the white back on the pin. So we'll do that for these four pins right here. Now we're going to do a transition row around. So first, starting right here, it'll be two red. Next spot over, two red. And then where we have the red that changes into the white, we need to do a transition band, which is just, we take two bands and combine them together. If I set them on top of each other, with one hand I'll grab the white through the red, and the other hand I'll grab the red through the white and then just kind of fold them across each other and that makes a transition band so we'll keep the red on the red side and the white on the white side if that doesn't make sense in your fingers you can do them on the loom as well anywhere where you have two pins I'm just going to take those two bands that I need put them together right on top of each other I'll go in through the band that's on the top grab the bottom one, pull it up through Pull it back towards itself, then I'll go in to that little triangle space there, grab the other band, and pull it back. And that creates the same band that I made on my fingers. But if we come back here first, so we have our transition band, half red, half white. And we'll do white in the next three spots here, two white bands. And this one will be a transition band. So I'll use the one I made over here. We'll put the white 
into the red like that. And then it's red around the rest. Like that. And then we'll flip the bottom four all the way around. And it's still four where the white are. You're just flipping over the puffing bands. Again, I'm going to kind of loosen up the center here. So this can start to keep growing up. Like that. Push your bands down. Next row will be our eye row. So you want either your wrapped band eye bands or your beads. But it's also a transition row still, so we'll start with the two red down here at the bottom. And two red, then a transition band. Then we'll have an eye. So those will be two bands put through the center. And normally the nine millimeters I can just get through pretty easily, so. eye here and then two white bands and then the other eye and then another transition band And then red all the way around the rest. My four-year-old is kind of funny with ketchup because he'll eat it plain if you allowed him to. I mean, sometimes it's hard to catch him because he's taking spoonfuls of ketchup and just eating it. But if you actually put it on like a french fry, he won't eat it. He's weird. So like that, flip your bottom four all the way around. It's actually very interesting when I'll sit there and ask for more ketchup, but he doesn't want any more of the other food. I think it's a kid thing, though. My oldest did that, too. He liked all the side things, but not the actual food. Push your bands down. Next is our cheek row. And I apparently only made one cheek. Same thing as before. Just putting the cheeks where the eyes are. So two bands red down at the bottom. Transition band. Two 
two bands. Cheek. Transition band. And red around the rest. So, flip the bottom four. Pull up the center a little bit and hook your things. Push your bands down. So now we're ready for the mouth, and that's going to go between these two pins right here and the front between the eyes. So I'm going to take one band, the color of my mouth, put it on my hook, wrap it around once into the figure eight. And then, I'm going to grab the four bands that are on the right side, lift them up, slide down my mouth band, pull it back over, and now, instead of a way that I've previously been doing it, I'm actually going to have you take that mouth band on your hook, flip it over so it's on the bottom. Like that. Then if you just go in through the bands on the left, you can hook the mouth band, which is easier when you're not holding the loom too, but hook the mouth band, pull it up through, and just wrap it on the pin. And then if you take your hook and go around, it'll bring the mouth band down to the bottom. And you can just grab the mouth band and pull it up over the top of the pins. So we were not moving quite as many bands and trying to position it correctly. That seems to work a little better, a little faster for people. Hopefully. So now we're going to do another transition row all the way around. So start with the red. Red transition band, and then just do white bands across the front. Then another transition band. And two red bands around the rest. Like that. Put the bottom four all the way around. Like so. 
push it down. So now where we have the white bands in the front, we're going to puff those out and make them red again. So same thing as before, two red bands, you go in through where the white is with your hook, pull up two red bands, put it on your hook, take the white off, and then put the red back on. You'll do it for those four pins that were in the front. Now we're going to do two rows around, two bands, Oop. you know I got this cold and a lot of people are like oh you sound, you sound different and um, But then it's like, yeah, I had a cold. And they're like, yeah, but you sounded different for a while now. And I thought that was pretty good because I actually know that I have sound, been sounding different. That some of my pronunciation of words has been different. And I thought it was kind of funny that other people really picked up on that and noticed it. And that's it's actually because at the end of February, I got braces again. Which definitely different. It's all the way around. You flip the bottom four and I got braces mainly because I had a couple teeth that bothered me that had started shifting because naughty me when I was a kid and got them off the first time it was like I have nice teeth they feel so smooth you want me to put a retainer on are you kidding and I wore it for a while but then eventually just kind of put it off and then stopped wearing it all together and as you get older, your everything in your body is always growing and moving, and so I had a couple of teeth that shifted, so I wanted braces to fix them, and I have them now, and it's changing a lot of things with my bite, and it's very weird, so yes, I have been talking differently and having little kind of lisps with certain things, and I just thought it was funny you guys noticed, so... So we'll go around it again, another row, two bands. But I say kudos to those of you who actually noticed. That's pretty good. I will definitely give you a little advice. When you're young and you get braces, your parents pay for it. When you're old and get braces, you pay for it so just remember to wear your retainer <laughs> that would be my advice to you to you youngins out there who are just like me and get braces off and don't want to wear them or only wear them for a while and then like nope don't want to do it anymore like that and flip the bottom four My poor kids, so because my oldest, my oldest two are in braces right now as well. So it's like we're all walking around with braces, and I think I, I embarrass my oldest one because of them. It's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's funny. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, so we have our two rows done that we need to get around. So now we're going to reduce. We're going to reduce this first one here down on the corner. So you'll go in, grab the top two bands. And they are coming from the upper right here. So they're going to go over to the left. And then the two that are still left on the pin, they're coming from the left, so they'll go over to the right. 
and I want that unhooked like that. So we have that one. Now we're going to skip one, two, three to the fourth one down here. And we're going to reduce this one right here. So right below the eye kind of. But you want to grab the top two and they're coming from the upper pin so they're going to come down to the lower pin. And you grab the other two and bring them to the upper pin. And we'll come around and we're going to reduce this top one on the top left. Flip that over this time. Grab the top two. They're coming from the lower left pin. So we're going to go over to the upper right. And then the other ones will go to the left. This time we are crossing in there, so. Whoops. <laughs> so now our next one that we're going to do is we have one, two, three, and four. So right here. Fourth one up, fourth one down. So top two, they're coming from the lower pin, so they're going to go to the upper pin, and then the other two will go to the lower pin. Like that. So now we're going to do a row around. So two bands, long stretch on the bottom. And then normal for two spots. And a long stretch. And normal for two spots. And across. And normal. And a long stretch. And then normal. like that. So when we flip this top one up here it's going to have two reducing bands and then four below. Next one will have four bands and the next one down below will have two reducing bands and then four bands. Then we have two reducing bands and then four bands four bands, and then two reducing bands, and four bands. They should still be left with four bands on every pin, and you can flip over the one where that long stretch is, too. Other side, the two reducing bands, and four bands. Next spot is four bands, and you'll have two reducing bands and four bands. Same thing in the next spot, the two reducing bands and four bands. Then four bands, and then two reducing and four. Like that. Pull that up. So you want to push those down. So now if you kind of look at this, we have little sections of three pins together on both sides. We're going to reduce the middle pin on each little section. So over here on the right, I'll grab the top two bands. coming from the top pin, so they're going to come down to the bottom. And I'll grab the other two, and they'll go up to the top. Then up here, same thing. They're coming from the top, so they're going to go to the bottom. Other two will go up to the top. Other side, in that middle pin, in that little three section. Top two bands, they're coming from the bottom, so they're going to go to the top. So the other two will go down. And then last section, 
same thing by coming from the bottom so they'll go to the top and the other two will come down. Now push those down. So now we're going to do a row all the way around. Two bands. So I'll stretch across the bottom. And then it's basically long stretches all the way around. Like that. So we'll flip. So then the spin up here will have the same two reducing bands and then four bands to go over. This one will have two reducing bands, four bands to go over, and they will all basically look like that. So it's two reducing bands and then four bands to flip over. And then these ones that kind of wrap around the pins, you can just flip those as you go by. And because we are doing long stretches here on this kind of on this last row, um, there will be a little bit of band tension to um, fix once the design is off the loom. So keep that in mind. If it looks a little goofy on the bottom when you're done. Like so. So now it's time to close this. I start up here at the top corner. I'm just going to use my rainbow loom hook. Grab the top one with the four. And then just go around to each one. The only one you really have to worry about coming off is up here as you're getting farther away. But it's not too bad. No boo-boos this time. And you want to kind of flatten it out to the correct, sorry if I was off camera there, flatten it out to the correct shape a little bit. It's all, mine was kind of like this. So let's kind of squish it back. Then you want to take two bands, pull it through everything that's on your hook. Close it off with a slip knot. Hide your tail. Try and hide both of them. And then Right here is what I meant by, because we did those long stretches, the bands would be kind of um, pulled out. You just need to go in and with your hook and readjust those. It's not a huge deal. It'll take a little time though to get them all adjusted so they look alright to you. But a lot of them they are on the bottom, so like right around the last ones we closed. So it really won't matter a whole lot unless they get in the way of it standing up. Which mine's alright, so. Then with this top portion here, you just kind of flatten out the lid. And you'll put the, push the other lid down. You might have to stretch it out a little bit if your shapes aren't quite the same. And you need to smile. Yeah. Kind of a half smile, like want some ketchup. So, squishy, squishy. But 
that just happy ketchup. Totally adorable. I just really like the little flip, 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 flip. And little ketchup right up there. Awesome. Super cute. Hope you agree. Doop, doop, doop. So, like I kind of sneak peeked at the beginning there, there will be a partner for the ketchup before long. But I hope that you like the happy ketchup. Um, if you make one of these, you can definitely share them with me on my Instagram, which is at Craft Fantastic, and on my Facebook, which is Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. They'll both find me. And then, of course, it'd be fabulous if you'd subscribe and tell all your friends and give this video a thumbs up and all that awesome good stuff that is cool. I like it. <laughs> but thank you guys very much for watching. I definitely appreciate it, and I will have more for you soon.